fellas, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a copper eye look that's perfect for New Year's Eve with a little bit of glitter on it. So I'm going to zoom y'all in and let's get started. Okay, so first we're just going to start by priming our skin. I'm going to use the Hangover RX. I like this one for um, the winter time because my skin tends to be a little bit more dry. And then from there, I'm just going to go in with the Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Foundation um, by Benefit. And the color is Ivory, which is the lightest one. And I'm going to take that on the Makeup Geek Face Buffer Brush. I really like this brush to apply foundation. So I really like the Buffer Blush Brush to apply foundation. I'm just going to do two pumps of that on my brush. And then kind of dot it, press it into the skin. And then just use circular buffing motions. I like my foundation a little bit more full coverage, so I go I do two passes with my foundation. I do two coats. You don't have to do that. Um, it's just how I am, how I like mine. Make sure you drag it down your neck as well. And then I go in, especially over the areas that I have the most redness or any acne scarring, which is my chin and my nose area. It's pretty much where I add that second layer. This foundation is really pretty on this skin. It looks like you can see your skin through it, but it still gives good coverage. foundation builds up as much as I want. I'm going to take the Sigma, Sigma Tapered Kabuki brush and my MAC Pro Longwear in NC15 and NW15. I'm just going to do a pump of those and put those um, right under the eye area. Kind of do it in a triangular motion. And then I'll also just add a little bit on the center of the forehead down the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow and then I just press that and I do it on my lids as well I'm just gonna press that and I bring it all the way out to the hairline And then once I've got that, I'm going to add a little bit of MAC Prep and Prime in Light Boost in Radiant Rose. And I'm going to do that in the same areas, right under the eye, in the center of the forehead, down the bridge of the nose, and on my cupid's bow. It's just, just going to give me a little bit more of a highlighted effect. And since this is a New Year slash going out look, we really want to have some depth and dimension to the face. Same thing, just press that out and back in. All right, and then to set that, I'm just going to use my um, Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And I'm just going to take that on a little um, just tapered small blending brush and you just want to press that right under the eye I do it on my lids as well and then a little bit on the center of the forehead down the bridge of the nose I like that for under the eye area and then I'm just going to kind of lightly dust over with the NARS um, number one light Siberia all day luminous powder foundation um, I'm just going to take my real techniques brush and I'm just going to kind of set everything with that so 
especially on my chin area, give me a little bit more coverage, and then take it down my neck. Alright, then I'm going to contour. I'm going to just take my NARS Eda brush, which is just that flat brush, um, or you can just use an angle, angled um, or you can just use an angled blush brush. Couldn't get the words out. And I'm just going to kind of put it right underneath my cheekbones and bring it up to the on the top of the forehead. And then just make sure you blend that out really well. And I just kind of do up and down little motions. I'm going to take a little bit just on the bridge of my nose and a little bit right underneath my lip. And then I'm going to take my um, buffing brush and just kind of blend it all out. And then we're going to head on to eyes. So I'm going to take my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly and I'm just going to put that all over the lid as a base. And I bring it all the way up to the brow bone. I'm just going to start with the color Orange Soda on my MAC 234 brush. Orange Soda here. And we're just going to start putting that in the crease. And it doesn't matter, you know, if you get it a little bit on the lid. You don't have to be really precise with this because this is just our, like, transition color. keeping the lids really nice and neutral and we're just going to do a nice pop of um, copper sparkle on the bottom lash line. We may add a little bit of sparkle to the lid too, I haven't decided yet. Then we're going to take the color Blanc by Anastasia. Sorry, we're using Anastasia today. Not makeup geek, I grabbed the wrong palette. Oh. And we're just going to place that on the lid. And then take that brush that we used with orange soda from Anastasia and just blend that back and forth. And then we're going to deepen that crease up a little bit. And I'm just going to mix the colors Birkin and Bengal. Bengal. Birkin and Bengal, and I'm going to just put that right in that crease right there, just right in that outer edge. It's going to kind of give us that coppery brown kind of a color, which is what we're going to mimic on that bottom lash line. So once we've got that, I'm just going to take a fluffy brush with nothing on it, blend all that out. And then I'm going to move on to my brows. And for my brows, I just used Fling and Lingering from MAC. I mix those two together. I do Fling on the inner part of the eye. Because it's a little bit lighter. And I just do small strokes. mimic my brow hair. And 
And then I'm going to take lingering on the outer tail of the brow. And I'm going to kind of sculpt it up underneath there, on the top. And then just kind of draw my brow farther down. And I'm going to take my spoolie and I'm just going to blend that all out. And once I've got that, I'm just going to take the color Bling from Anastasia. It's got a little bit of shimmer to it. And I'm going to take that on that color, that on that same brush that we used, Blanc, just a flat, flat brush. And I'm going to put that right under the brow just to give us a little bit of shimmer and a little bit of highlight right up under that outer edge of the brow. And then I'm going to take a little bit and do it on just that inner corner of the eye as well. And then just bring it down a little bit on that lash line. And then just because I have blonde lashes, I'm going to go in with just a black waterproof um, eyeliner and just tight line with it. This is the Revlon color today. I have never used it before, so we'll see how much I like it. Alright, and I'm just going to take my pencil brush and I'm going to use those same colors, orange soda and Bengal. And I'm just going to bring that on my lower lash line pretty far down. Because we're going to put some sparkle down here. So we, want, we don't want it to just be like one line of glitter. We want it to kind of look like it's faded out. Now once we've done that, I'm going to take Vegas Lights from Makeup Geek, or you can use Copper Sparkle from MAC, and I'm going to take a little bit of the Glitter Glue Shadow Insurance by Too Faced. Um, you could also just wet your brush with Fix Plus from MAC, but I like the Glitter Glue a little bit better. Um, I'm going to take that and I'm just going to put the Glitter Glue right on that bottom lash line, right up underneath my lashes. And you kind of have to work a little bit quickly with this because you don't want it to dry. And then I'm going to take on my flat angle brush um, the Copper Sparkle, I mean, sorry, Vegas Light from Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to press that into that lower lash line. Same thing on the other eye. And then bring it kind of close to your waterline as well. that and then we're just going to take that same um, pencil brush that we used before to just blend that lower lash line out just so it's not like one harsh line and I'm going to go in with just a little bit more of that orange soda and I'm going to blend that even further down And then to just add a little bit more fun to this look, since it's kind of like a my, gonna be my New Year's Eve look, I'm gonna take my Shadow Insurance again. And I'm gonna take that same flat liner brush. I'm just gonna wipe everything off of it. And I'm just gonna put it on that inner corner, the inner part of the lid. And I'm gonna go in with Makeup Geek uh, New Year's Eve pigment. 
and I'm just gonna press that right on top of that glitter glue to just give us a little bit more shimmer and kind of amp up the look a little bit more. And then the same thing with the other eye. Just really focusing on that inner lid. And then I'm also just going to bring it right here in that tear duct as well. So I don't know if the camera's picking up how pretty that is. It's like just a gold, a really pretty gold shimmer on the lid. I'm going to take that flat de um, definer brush again and just add a little bit more on top. My brush that we use for the crease and I'm just going to kind of blend that out again. Just to make sure there's no harsh lines. If you feel like you lost anything when you blended, you can just add a little bit more. This is the perfect like going out look or New Year's Eve look. It's just so pretty. All right, once we've done that, we're just gonna add our mascara. And I'm gonna wear lashes with this tonight. But I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes. It's one of my favorite mascaras. I love it. And we're just going to do a nice generous coat of mascara. do your bottom lashes as well. I'm going to use my new Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. I hear great things about this, so I'm going to try it. See how I like it. Ooh, I like the wand. It's really, really small. Oh yeah, you can really get in there to the lower lashes. Ooh, I like this mascara a lot. I usually use MAC Extended Play. might take the place of that. I like that. Alright, once we've done that, we're just going to add our blush. And I'm just going to use Becca Damselfly. It's just a really pretty, natural, kind of a peachy color. I'm just going to use that on my 116 MAC brush. I'm just going to focus it on the back of the cheek. And then wipe my brush off and then just blend it out. A little bit of this goes a long way. And then take my blending brush and blend it again. Ooh, yeah, a little of that goes a long way. You just need a hint of that. And then as a little highlight, I'm gonna use Mary Luminizer by The Balm. I'm just gonna use that same brush that I used to set my under eyes with. And I'm just going to place that right on that cheekbone, a little bit on the center, and on my cupid's bow. Just gives you that really pretty glow when the light hits you. And then, of course, always take your blush and brush and just blend that out a little bit so there's no harsh lines. And then as far as lips goes, I'm going to use my NYX retractable liner, waterproof liner in the color nude number 10. And then I'm going to take the Maybelline Daringly Nude, um, this is that matte collection that came out. I'm just going to put a little bit of that on the lip 
And I still kind of want to shear that down a little bit. I don't want quite as much color. So I think I'm going to add... This was in the gift set, Bucks and gift set, but I think they sell them individually. This one's called Rebecca. It's just a really pretty clear kind of a cream with a little bit of a gold shimmer to it. So that's the finished look guys I decided not to do lashes I didn't really think that this needed it but if you're doing this for New Year's or you were going out you could add some um, I love my favorite pair of lashes is 33's from Mac they kind of go out at the center they look really natural they're really pretty um, so yeah that's just our glitter eye look let me bring it in one more time so you can kind of just see that Alright guys, y'all have a happy new year. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, share with your friends. Um, I really appreciate all the support. Um, and y'all have a great 2015. I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys.